today I am going to show you how to make these super simple ribbed texture baby booties. These little booties are for zero to three month olds. I am making mine in wool, but you can absolutely make this out of cotton or acrylic or whatever you have on hand. This project is an awesome stash buster. So if you wanna make these baby booties with me, keep watching. First things first, let's talk about what you're going to need to get started on these baby booties. You're gonna need a crochet hook. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, but you could definitely get away with a four millimeter, even a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook for this project. You're also going to need a yarn needle to sew together the booty in the end and to weave your ends in. You're also going to need some yarn. I am using worsted weight wool for this project. In fact, we dyed this yarn together in a previous video. Check it out in the corner. Now let's make this booty. We're going to start with a really long tail here. Wrap up a little bit of yarn at the end, probably like one meter of yarn. Wrap that up at the end. This is gonna make putting together the booty really easy. So this is a good little trick. Now we're going to start with a slip stitch. Next, chain 33. One, two, three, 32, 33. Next, I'm going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one, two, and then I'm going to single crochet across. At the end of this row, I'm going to chain one and turn the work. I'm at my last stitch of the row, so I'm going to do a single crochet, chain one, and turn. Right now, this is just about seven inches long. For row number two, I'm going to begin with a single crochet in the first stitch, and then in the second stitch and every stitch after that, I'm going to single crochet in the back loops only. So I'm going to single crochet back loops only across this row. When we get to the end of the row though, I'm going to single crochet in the last stitch as normal. And here at the end of row number two, I'm going to put my last stitch through the entire stitch, both loops, and then I'm gonna chain one and turn the work. For row number three, we're gonna do the same thing we did for row number two. So we're gonna start the row with a regular single crochet, and then we are going to single crochet back loops only all the way across the row, but at the end of the row for the last stitch, we're going to just do a regular single crochet. Now, from row number three all the way up till row number 10, we're going to do the exact same thing. So back loops only across the row, but the first stitch and the last stitch of each row are a full regular single crochet. The reason we put the single crochet in at the end in the regular way rather than in the back loops is to keep the edges of the work nice and straight and nice and tight. The back loops would create sort of a ripply wonky edge, but by doing it through the entire stitch at the end of the row and at the beginning of the row, we create this nice, strong, straight line, which is better for when we're putting this together in the end for the final booty. And here I am at the end of row number 10. I'm gonna do a single crochet as normal in the last stitch, and I'm not gonna chain one this time. I'm just gonna turn the work around. See how nice and straight that edge is? That'll make it so much easier when we're sewing the booty together in the end. And how fun is the texture? That back loops only single crochet creates such a fun ruffled, rippled texture. I think it makes it a little bit more interesting. For the next step, we are going to start slip stitching into the first six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to single crochet into that seventh stitch, just a normal single crochet. And now we're gonna single crochet across this row, but we're gonna leave the last six stitches unworked. And just like we did before, we are going to single crochet in the back loops only for this row. So this is my last stitch for this row. So I'm going to do a regular single crochet in there. Now there's six stitches left unworked. I'm gonna chain one and turn. Now we're going to start this row the same way as every other row, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch, then we're going to single crochet back loops only across, with the last stitch being a regular single crochet. We're going to repeat this shorter row but exact same stitch combination for eight rows total. We are on row number 12 right now. We're going to go from row number 12 all the way to row number 18 in the exact same way. 
Now I'm at the end of row number 18. I'm going to do one last single crochet through that final stitch. I'm just gonna chain one and pull a loop up, but I'm not going to secure off the yarn just yet. So this is the final shape you're looking for. The bottom rectangle measures seven inches by two inches, and the top rectangle measures about four and a half inches by about one and a half inches. It kind of looks like a little T or a very wide T. So let's put this together. First, we're going to fold the little booty over, and then we're going to sew up the bottom seam of the booty. You can use a single crochet, a slip stitch. I am going to do a blanket stitch with my yarn needle for this one. We'll be using the long tail from the beginning as our sewing thread. So what I'm gonna do first for my blanket stitch, I've got the yarn attached on one corner, I'm going to just stab it through the other corner and draw it through. There's a little loop left behind. I'm going to stab the needle right through that loop and pull that really tight. Now I'm going to find the second stitch on both sides. I'm gonna put the needle through that second stitch, pull it through. There will be a loop left behind and I'm gonna put the needle through that loop. This is a blanket stitch. So I'm just going to blanket stitch the same way all the way across the bottom seam of the booty. And here I am at the last stitch of that bottom seam. I'm just gonna pull the yarn through like that. Now that I've made it to the end of this bottom seam, my yarn is on the wrong side. I wanna get it back over here. So I am going to weave my way through this bottom seam with my yarn needle to get back to the toe. The next part we are going to put together is the top of the little booty right here. We're gonna do the same blanket stitches, but we're gonna start at the tip of the toe and we're going to do those blanket stitches until we make it to this join here. I'm gonna be using this yarn that's still attached. So to get myself up to where I need to be, I'm just going to weave it through the edges of each of the rows. It's not going to matter because this is all going to be incorporated into sewing up the toe later. So it's not going to be visible. Now that I've made it up to the top corner of the front of the toe, I'm going to just put my needle through the first stitch on both pieces of fabric, and I'm going to get started with my blanket stitches. And I'm gonna just go across this top portion, blanket stitching, until we reach that inner join. This is the spot where I'm putting the last stitch, just so you can see it's right at the point where the, this row begins. That's the last stitch for the top of the foot. I weaved my yarn so that I'm at the tip of the toe now, and now we are at the part where we're going to sew this booty closed. So we're going to flatten this part down in the front here, and with that end of yarn, we're gonna do the same blanket stitch and we're going to stitch this closed. So I'll start with that center stitch and then I'm going to just weave my way over to one end and then I will line this up as best I can and then I'm just going to start with my blanket stitches. So do your best to line up the stitches so that they're both going through the same sort of area of the fabric on either side, but do know that if you didn't line them up perfectly, this is gonna be on the inside of the booty. You're not even really gonna be able to see this part. So don't worry too much. <laughs> Look at how much yarn I have left after sewing the toe together. I think I can say I won yarn chicken, but we're not done yet. For the next step, we are going to turn this little booty right side out. Look at how cute it already is. But we still need to add the ties. For this next row, we are going to actually just do a regular single crochet across row. So no back loops only this time, just a regular single crochet across. We're starting at one top corner and we're going to single crochet across to the other top corner. So I've made it to the other top corner. I'm going to do a final single crochet in that last stitch and then I'm going to do a chain of 25. 2, 3, 24, 25. Now I'm going to slip stitch in the second stitch from the hook and then I'm going to slip stitch all the way back down to the booty. I'm back at my first chain stitch. I just did a slip stitch there. I'm going to do a slip stitch in the first single crochet as well. So I'm gonna single crochet down these rows. I'm going to do one single crochet in each row down until I get to the join at the top of the foot. Okay, so I've made it to the join. I'm going to put a stitch right at the bottom there where the join is and then I'm going to 
switch to the other side of that top of the booty there. And this is going to secure that seam by having these crochet stitches here. It's gonna allow for this seam to not get too much stress on it. And then I'm going to just single crochet up all the way up the other side to the other corner where we actually started with our single crochets. And there is the last stitch. And now I'm going to do another chain of 25. One, two, 23. 24, 25. And again, I'm going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook, and then I'm just going to slip stitch down that chain with a final slip stitch back into the baby booty once we get down back to the work. And there we go with that final slip stitch. And now I'm going to leave a nice long tail here. I'm gonna secure off my yarn. And now we have to weave in the only end that we have to weave in pretty much for this whole project. Those other ones were barely a problem. This is the only real end we're weaving in. <laughs> now we've got to fold over the top of the booty like that. And then we've got to tie a nice little bow in the front. Ta-da! Here they are. Are they not the sweetest little booties? They've got like a little froggy foot. I mean, you can straighten them out and you can sort of block it to make them a square square foot, but I kind of think they are the cutest having this little sort of pointed toe like a little dinosaur foot. Look how cute they are! So these are sized zero to three months. I think you could probably get away with these on a newborn by just tying the bow a little tighter, but they are zero to three month size. If you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a great big thumbs up and I'm gonna see you next time. By the way, if you're new here and you have not yet joined the Patreon, patrons are going to have access to this pattern that I drew up for these little baby booties. Links are in the description down below for how to join Patreon. And thank you so much to each and every one of my patrons. You guys rock. As I said, friends, that's it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye!